Hello viewers, welcome to this video on understanding wheel diameter difference on the same axle. In many of the derailment cases, while taking the joint measurements, we do find uh, large variations uh, in the wheel diameters of the involved coaches, wagons, or the locomotive, either on the same axle or on the same trolley or on the same wagon coach or the locomotive. So under the ideal condition, the wheel diameter of railway locomotive, wagon, coach is the same. But the wheel diameter difference is affected by machining accuracy, wheel wear, and other factors. The wheel diameter difference not only causes the wheel set to deviate from the track center, but also changes the contact relationship between the wheel and the rail. When the wheel diameter difference of the same axle, the same bogie, or the same locomotive exceeds a certain limit value, it will have a significant impact on the operation, safety, stability, and ride quality of the locomotive or the coach. At present, regular wheel turning is the main measure to solve the problem of wheel diameter difference. Now, let us see the force analysis of wheel diameter difference. When the wheel diameter of left wheel, say let us say this is the left wheel, is larger than the right wheel diameter, this diameter is smaller, this is larger, the linear velocity of the left wheel is larger than the right wheel. At this time, the left wheel drives the right wheel to creep forward. The left wheel generates longitudinal creep force FLX along with negative x-axis and the right wheel generates the longitudinal creep force FRX along the positive x-axis. Under the action of creep force, the wheel set produces deflection moment which causes the wheel set to shake its head clockwise. At the same time, the wheel set produces the lateral creep along the positive y-axis and the wheel set set deviates to right rail. However, with the increase of wheel set displacement, the radius of right wheel contact point gradually increases and exceeds the left wheel contact radius, then the wheel set shifts to left. This process is repeated and the wheel set moves in the shape of a snake movement. At the same time, the wheel set bulky car body as a whole. The shaking motion and lateral motion of the wheel set act on the bogey through suspension force generated by primary suspension system and the bogey through the secondary suspension system acts on the car body. When the wheel diameter difference is large, it may cause the secondary serpentine instability of the bogey or primary serpentine instability of the vehicle body. In this uh, uh, chart and uh, slide, the limits of the wheel diameter difference for WAP7, WAG9 and WAP5 locomotives are shown. Uh, on the same axle, we have a maximum difference of 0.5 and if it is 2.5 or more, it is worn out. On the same bogey, permissible is 2 mm and worn out limit is 4 mm while on the same loco the new limit is 15 mm and the worn out limit is 20 mm.
Similarly, for WDP4 and WDG, we have these limits shown between uh, two wheels on the same axle. New limit is 0.5 and the worn out is 1.6. Between axles within a bogey, the new limit is 3.2 millimeter in the wheel diameter difference and worn out limit is 6.4. Similarly, between bogies, the new limit is 14.2 mm while worn out limit stands at 31.8 mm. Well viewers, now something very special I am going to explain in this uh, slide. There is a normal uh, saying that there is no limit of uh, wheel diameter difference or there is no in-service tolerance of wheel diameter difference in coaching and the wagon stock. I have many times and uh, in my few recent videos also I have tried to explain that if a locomotive say electric locomotive has a maximum uh, diameter difference limit of 2.5 millimeter and uh, a diesel locomotive has a wheel diameter difference of 1.6 millimeter on the same axle. How wagons or the coaches trailing behind the engine do not have any in-service tolerance. It is there. It is there, but we need to see very, very minutely, very, very clearly. Now I am producing uh, this uh, uh, screenshot of the manual. Uh, chapter 10 rolling gear and uh, this figure 10.1 if we see the note of this uh, figure see what is mentioned here the variation in the tread circumference of wheels on the same axle is 1.6 so nobody can read it nobody can read it because there is an overword printing on the that specific limit which is prescribed in this note serial number one and also in the note number two of this uh, figure 10.1 of maintenance manual for BG coaches of ICF design uh, rolling gear chapter 10 page 1 of 23 now what I did was I tried to read out all these then I just copied and put it on another slide which I am going to show you very clearly that the difference is you know uh, specified beyond that the limit is specified and this is I am going to make it clear of this para only when I just copied and pasted on another paper and just try to read it it gave me the following Now see this is the same thing only I when copied and pasted it on uh, another page I could just uh, take out the very clear jumbled words out and very clearly it mentions in note number one the variation in the tread circumference of the wheels on the same axle is 1.6 millimeter the variation in wheel diameter between one pair wheels and the other is 5 mm on the same bogey see now if we convert 1.6 mm in circumference and if we multiply 0 0.5 the diameter difference permitted in initial uh, IRCA so pi into 0 0.5 comes to around 1.57 which is 1.6 as a rounded figure and the variation on the dia under the same coach should not exceed 13 millimeters. So this is very, very clearly mentioned in the ICF manual to which we have been denying statement given by mechanical department that there is no in-service limit. There is a limit and please see it very minutely for yourself also. You will find the same thing. Now this is just an illustration of uh, wheels having different uh, diameters on the same axle and this is how it moves. So this wheel, this wheel moves ahead of this wheel. What we had uh, tried to explain in the diagram of uh, introduction in the initial slides, now this is just an illustration of the same. Uh, 
Now this is illustration when we have one sided two wheels of a bogey having larger diameter say reddish color are having larger diameter so this is the way it moves so they move eccentrically and this is again illustration of uh, when we have three wheels having larger diameter and one wheel is having a different diameter so the wheels have a tendency to rotate like this way like this way in this side of arrow so it is very dangerous in case of curves etc when the movement is on curves recently i happened to go through parameters of a locomotive which uh, derailed and its wheel diameter on the same axle was very very uh, differing than the Uh, prescribed limits mean it is a locomotive which is in service and the wheel diameter difference on the same axle on one side on one side as i have illustrated over here the reddish wheel are having larger diameter so let us let us just see how how the movement uh, takes place when we have one sided uh, bogey having larger diameter than the other side of wheels on the same axle so this sort of a motion is there so this becomes a centric type of a motion and it tends to tends to uh, move in the direction of the arrow now this is what i tried to explain and this is an illustration on how wheel diameter difference associated with poor deflection suspension system and stiff rotational resistance of uh, center pivot affects the track and the wheel set so this is how there are cases when we have such type of derailments we have recently gone through where in the pivot was totally worn out it was about 12 years old pivot having uh, exceeded all the prescribed limits and this sort of uh, Uh, a derailment had occurred when the wheel had gone inside so this is how we have the effect of these uh, wheel diameter differences this is another illustration when in case of curve we have serpentine motion of the wheel set due to wheel diameter difference and the wheel offloads to other side or the outer side or climbs over the rail head travels and then falls out sides so these two type of slides which i had recently shown in the previous slide it was having a large lateral force which could turn the rail head and drop inside and this is another where sometimes in case of say curvature when we have those favorable conditions associated with the poor suspension system and the flexing characteristics of the suspension system such type of derailments do occur well viewers i thank you so much for watching this video and uh, you can appreciate the amount of uh, efforts we need to put in to make out such slides such presentations to analyze the data to extract the data so my only request is that please share as much as possible so that uh, these basic things go down to the level of je and upwards because without which our survival is very difficult in the present scenario so in this to summarize i have explained the potential danger lying in the wheel diameter difference on the same axle and i hope you enjoyed you liked it so once again i thank you and request you to please view share like and subscribe and do not forget to comment so that i can present the data the way viewers want to see thank you